Dad? 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 Come on. <gasps> oh. We're playing a zombie now. Owen's drawing of Abby. I've tried to draw you sleeping, but these damned hands can't capture your mesmerizing beauty. Had fun yesterday. Let's do it again. Your uber goober, Owen. Hmm. Oh, were... was, uh, Owen and Abby dating? I thought Abby might have been dating Mel from what they were talking about a long time ago in the beginning, but maybe it was Owen and Abby. Thank you card from Mel. Abby, I wanted to say thanks again. Your dad has been an amazing mentor. As I transition to the more complicated procedures, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you vouching for me. I think we should grab some booze and get wasted ASAP. XO Mel. Transition to the more complicated procedures? What does that mean? Oh my god. Wait, I didn't even have time to process it, but freaking Jesse... <sighs> Jesse just died. Jesse died. I thought somebody might come to the theater to get us, but never in a million years did I think it was gonna be Abby. She went to an island. Dad! She went to some island, and she came back to get Ellie. Ellie was thinking that Abby wanted to get her because Ellie's immune and all, but did Abby react to that when she said it? She kind of skipped over it and was like, you killed my friends, that's why I'm here. And when they were there to kill Joel, I didn't really get the impression they cared at all who the immune person was. They didn't know what Joel looked like, but they were looking for a man named Joel, and so I don't think they would have necessarily known that Ellie was the immune person, but they weren't looking for a person named Ellie at all. Feels like Ellie thought part of why Abby is doing this is because Joel made the world lose a chance at a cure. But Abby doesn't seem to care about that part, at least not anymore. It's really about Ellie killing her friends. If four years ago, I feel like Abby looks a little bit older than Ellie. Maybe a few years older? <laughs> Dad? Oh! Dad! <sighs> Where are you? It's crazy how fast things change. Four years ago. It's like if we were going on a field trip. We? Mmm, it's hard to use we when I mean Abby, cause... Yeah, we implies that we're on the same side, and am I on the same side as Abby? Remember what I said in the beginning, between Ellie and Abby? Obviously I'm gonna be on Ellie's side. So it's a little bit strange being able to play Abby again. Zoo Lights Festival. Glowing Lights welcome you on a- I missed it by 20 years. <laughs> Glowing Lights welcome you on a beautiful nighttime journey through an illuminated forest, a tunnel of stars, and dozens of dazzling light displays as you visit our animal friends during this holiday season. And yes, the reindeer are back. Book your tickets now. I don't think we even have to guess that Abby's dad is probably dead in the present time, right? Whoa. Jeez. Hmm. 
Free bottle? I'll take it. Lots of free bottles. What's here? You wanna do that? That worked. I'll have another one. We're in. We're in the mainframe. Look at that. 1978. Virginia. Cute coin. Can't get through here. Maybe I can get onto the roof. <clears throat> oh. There. <clears throat> I feel like this would be the perfect spot for them to make me play Abby for a pretty long time here. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe the coin is a new collectible because Abby doesn't collect cards. <clears throat> We're at the zoo. Very smooth. Abs? <laughs> you, uh... You got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. So do you. Where? Right there. Oh. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs. She's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. Let's just make it quick. See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. <laughs> are you talking about some kind of animal? How'd you know I was here? Owen ratted me out, didn't he? He did his job. I swarmed to secrecy. How'd you get him to talk? Uh, I asked. Huh. Four years ago. If Abby was a firefly, that means the fireflies have disbanded by now already. And Abby is not a wolf yet, maybe? Because it seems like the atmosphere here is still pretty chill. I don't feel like we're part of the military or anything. Owen was with us. My dad's with us. Mel's with us. She probably cut through the playground. Hey, look what I found. Oh, wow. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it. If you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I could think of. Come on, let's keep looking. Dad. Relax. You'll be back with Owen before you know it. Wait, what? Nothing. Just noticed you two have been hanging out a lot. Um. More so than usual. We work together. Work? Abs. It's fine. I like Owen. Oh, God. How long have you known? I'm your dad. I see things. Like the way you both try really, really hard not to look at each other when you're around me. <laughs> you get all serious. It's very cute. I can't handle this. <laughs> and he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. <laughs> he gets all nervous when he has to keep me in check. So, you're taking advantage of him? Me? Never. Owen is someone we've known for a long time. 
We. Ah, <sighs> gotta get used to that word. I'm very, very curious about what they want to show me here. What could they possibly show me that could make me sympathize with Abby? Abs, look. Fresh tracks. You know, tracking some animal? Let's see if we can find anything else. Wait, this is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? I would never. Is it working? Well, I mean, I found you. Yeah, but you cheated. You do what you need to do to get it done. Wow. You actually listen. You have your moments of wisdom. Tracking. That might be how I found Joel and Jackson. It's so peaceful here. I wonder where we are. We know we're in a zoo, but like where in America? See anything else? Not yet. Keep looking. Is this the zoo in Seattle? They've got a really nice one there. It doesn't really feel like animals in cages. Fairly natural. Oh, and one interesting fact. Well, actually, it's not that interesting at all, but the official website for the Seattle Zoo is zoo.org. I remember being shocked when I found that out because, whoa, they've got this, like, top domain. That basically makes you number one zoo or something. I personally thought it was really shocking and an interesting fact, but I tried sharing this with a lot of people and nobody ever seemed as excited as I was. <laughs> Oh. Ew, what is that? Abs. A placenta? Check it out. She already gave birth. Is that the placenta? Sure is. Ew. And look. Two sets of tracks. Dad? It's her. Let's go. Well, you want to kill her? This doesn't sound good. You want to kill her? Abs. Come on. That wait. What if they're infected around? This area is clear. You know they roam. You brought your gun, right? Of course. And I'm not worried. Oh shit. Abs. What? Doctor. What? Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. Owen! Oh, hold her! Come on! Uh, yeah. All right. You got her tight? Uh, yeah. All right. Get in there, Abs. Steady. Uh, Fuck. Everybody's looking for you. We gotta... Hey, wait! Dad! Uh. What's going on? Come on! Everybody's looking for the doctor. That can't be a good thing. Oh my god! Salt Lake City! We did good back there. Doc, 
That girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking about. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. We're still in the fireflies. <laughs> that can't be. They're already running tests on her, but you gotta get down there. Dad. Come on. Oh God, her dad. Probably one of the few people who can make a vaccine. It's intertwined with the brain. There's no other option. There has to be some other way. There's no way to remove the specimen without destroying the host. The host? She's a child, not some petri dish. You think I don't... I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? <laughs> Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific, all of that is justified with this one act. You didn't answer my question. If this was your daughter, what would you do? Mm-hmm. Abby. I buy some dinner. Thank you, sweetheart. Look, Marlene. Do it. Thank you. I'm gonna go tell Joel. Why? He traveled across the country with her. He has a right to know. Good luck with your surgery. You're doing the right thing. surgery. Hmm, <laughs> we got the timelines a little bit mixed up. Four years ago. This is right around when Joel and Ellie arrive in Salt Lake City. And now here, Joel is probably escaping with Ellie. And we all know exactly what happened in the room. It's that doctor, that specific doctor that we saw at the end of one. Is he still in the fucking building? Is it? Abby. No, Abby, don't look. Dad! Fucking get up! Please stop! Please don't shoot! Joel, please get up! No! 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 Cody, help, pendejo. Fucking kill you! Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Benny. Cleaning up. No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky to leave them alive. Too fucking bad. He's right. We can't have loose ends. 
We killed them. We're no better than he was. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. Oh, fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Darden! You gonna shoot me? Stop! We're done. That's it. There wasn't a big reason behind it. Abby. <gasps> oh. Easy. You okay, Apps? Yeah, just. <gasps> What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. We've been called up. Isaac wants us at the front. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. We should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. Okay. <sighs> Fuck my neck. Hey, thanks for giving me their room last night. Yeah, it, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah, the weather chick. <laughs> She's down from the mountain. Oh, the scientist. Nice. Uh, she's a little too excited about her job. Talked my ear off about some storm and... I don't know. Worth it, though? Oh, absolutely. I can die happy now. <laughs> you should. You're never gonna do better than her. <laughs> I keep thinking the same thing. And yet, here we are. Present day Seattle. We don't really- wait. Do I have to care if Ellie is- Where would Ellie be right about now? Where am I? Our base. We're part of the wolves now. Please see Mark or Ash for gym key of doors lock and for after hours access. Lost or forgotten items will be brought to the concessions office. Yoga class Tuesday and Thursday. Instructor, Haley. Hmm, relatively peaceful. Not really seeming like the wolf thing that we saw before, all the military bases and whatnot. Almost feels a little bit like Jackson. Having an actual community where you do things other than Guarding bases and killing people. Manny. They didn't kill Ellie and Tommy for some grand reason. It really was just because they wanted to spare them. Hmm. I think they understand why Joel did what he did. Cause he's trying to save his daughter too, but it's just that from their perspective... Yeah, I understand that's why you did it, but I still can't forgive you because you killed all of our friends, you killed my father... I can't forgive you. So it's exactly like why Ellie's chasing after Abby right now. Exactly. Oh my god, kindergarten class. Hello, seats. Miss Potts. Hello, Manny. <laughs> Her too. A gentleman never tells. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, we have quite the community here then. Is this really part of the walls? This is such a different side of them that we've never seen before. Play, learn, and grow. I gotta talk to my dad for a second. Grab us some food? Yeah, on it. Get me something con picante. You get what you get. What, what's con picante? I don't know. Like, just looking around here, it doesn't even feel like there is infected around this area. 
in some ways, it feels like this place might be a bit more advanced than Jackson. Just looking at the general technology level, because Jackson, the little bit of it that we wandered, lots of wooden houses, that kind of level of technology. Look at that. Spinning electric fan. An entire cafeteria. Time up and bring him in when suddenly this fucker gets a knife on me. Fuck. I jump back and just blast him. His whole face came off. Good. Wasn't that though? Still gurgled for like another five minutes. Ugh. What? He brought it on himself. You're talking about killing scars. Bleed blue. to see you too, Abby. You're the guy who got your face slashed? Oh, shit, Jordan. I didn't see you there. You coming with us to the Saravina? Uh, Manny and I just got called up to the FOB. What are you doing at the Saravina? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Yeah, can you fucking believe after everything we're falling back? You don't know that's what it is. Uh, at least Leah might be home from the TV station sooner. Well, there's that, yeah. I should run. May your survival be long. And may your death be swift. <laughs> that little tagline kind of sounds like something the... the Scars would say. But you keep coming back for more, don't you? You know this game's all luck. They're falling like back. After all that they've done in their battle against the scars I've been hanging out with him a lot while I'm on rotation he loves you yeah. I want to read into him yeah. uh, come on fuck up and if something's going on we'll fuck him up for you hi hey sir ah abby how you feeling Fantastic. Would you please tell him to get rid of this? Oh, I've tried. <laughs> I look good. Te ves horrible. <laughs> bueno, we have to head out. Keep him safe. <laughs> For you, I will. I think the women like the beard. I didn't grab any food yet. What are they serving today? Burritos. Again. Okay. Abby, what are you doing? Hey, tenemos prisa, dame tres burritos. Hey! Man, there's a line! Penny, what the fuck? Excuse me. Wait your turn like the rest of Sorry. us. Sorry. We're going to the front. Come on. <sighs> so embarrassing. Why do you have three? Pull one back. Now, don't freak out. Mel's coming with us. Manny? Where's your pack? In the room? Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. And I'm tired of all the bullshit. Does she know I'm on this drive? She does. And she's cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does your yeah sound like a no? <laughs> it's my accent. Come on, stop being paranoid. So at this point, Abby already knows that Mel is pregnant, and we know that she and Owen dated before, and that Mel's child's father is Owen. That's kind of like the whole Dina, Jesse, Ellie setup to three people, and you know, an ex-pairing, and a current pairing, and both have a pregnancy involved. Potential for drama! Hey, got any of those bars of soap that I like? The pine ones? <sighs> Sorry, Abby. Heard the section next door is getting a new haul in. Might check there tomorrow. Bummer. Thanks anyway. They're so organized. The Seattle Orcas. Come on. 
Okay, okay. We can't be late for Isaac. Do I like Mel? Does Mel like me? Maybe not too much. No, it's not just for kids. How come Owen liked me so much and then we broke up? Well, I mean, we were like kids, so whatever. <laughs> Guess that's that. Trade sale. This board's exactly like the one we saw back in Jackson. Meal times. Children. Groups A, B, C, D, E, F. Hey, the wolves take care of kids. They can't be that bad. Oh, the stadium! This is the stadium! I just realized. I think you get a kick out of making me uncomfortable. No. It's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen? Of course not. You guys need to talk about it. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't hurt people like that before. <sighs> she... She kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joel. Don't forget. We are grunts. She's a medic. Oh. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it for me. Okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking for. Nothing to do with Owen at all. Ah! That's why Mel was saying, thanks for your dad for helping me out with um, the complicated procedures because she's learning to be a medic. And my dad was a doctor. Not a heartless one, I might add. Mm -hmm. They were very quick in establishing that this guy... He has a lot of compassion, even for wild animals like zebras. So his decision to basically kill Ellie, it's not one that he enjoys doing, but he knows he has to do for the survival of mankind. Although he never answered what he would do if it was his daughter instead. It's very easy to say things like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do the thing that's best for mankind, but when it involves personal loss, then the decisions can get a lot more murky. Abigail Anderson, Emmanuel Alvarez. Get your things ready. I'm gonna grab Mel. Yeah. Be nice. Bite me. The stadium. The stadium is our base. It's gigantic. Wow. I mean. Wow, that too. But wow. From the little glimpse we saw in the cafeteria, didn't seem like things were that bad, but obviously we don't know the fine details. Because if it was good, then why wouldn't everybody be rushing to the stadium? Knock, knock. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. And Owen's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Do better. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. Thought we weren't gonna get to look at that bra. Scientist, huh? Huh. <laughs> Kage no katana. 
Shadow Sword. This is nice. At first glance, that's, that's the only comment I have. This is a really nice place. Very, very organized. I'll do it later. It feels like a dorm. Maybe because there's so many people and they gotta, you know, make people pair up in rooms and all, but still... If I was living in the apocalypse, I would die. No, I wouldn't. I would... I would live. I would live for some kind of routine like this. To know that somebody's keeping me safe and that I'll be okay. And that things... that things will all be okay. What are you getting called up for? It's just the usual rotation, don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? Oh my god! Is, uh, I don't know. Worse? Worse how? Well, he's complaining about a sharp pain in his wrists. He can barely hold a spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to section 96? Yeah, it's... it's nice. It's lots of young families. Getting you guys excited about the baby? Seeing all the kids running around, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> all those crying babies? Let's drive Owen crazy. He hasn't even seen it yet. He's out on rotation with Danny. Danny? Yikes. Sucks for him. Yeah. This is some next level organization. Wow. Everybody putting in their part for the community. Animals. Wow. Laundry duty. This is cool. Sound View Stadium. We train lots of dogs too. Hello. Signing out, Alice. She's playing inside. Great, Abby. You want to grab her? Alice. Alice dies. We know Alice dies. Uh, which one's Alice? Why are they all German Shepherds? Is that just a... a dog thing? Hey, where's Alice? I'm sorry. Oh, this one? Dog kennel. You can sign out dogs. Hey, girl. Hey, you crazy dog. There's my favorite girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Hey, Al. You want to go to the trucks? Let's go to the trucks. Oh, hey there, bear. No! No! Yeah, okay, since you asked so nicely. This one's bear? No! Who's the best boy? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, bear. Get the ball. It's not like each dog is tied to a specific owner, but they all have um, a collective of dogs <coughs> that they just sign out. Oh! What if I throw this out of bounds? Go get it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. My bad. Sorry, buddy. I'll, I'll get it back. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I can't. 
sorry. Bear. I'm so sorry. Eh. I did something really mean to you. Sorry. Don't look at the fence like that. Did I see the gem last night? Yes, you did. You dirty dog. What's she doing in town? Something for Isaac. Man, that's gotta be a lonely job. She really likes it. Ask her about the cumulus clouds. <laughs> well, I guess you get to stay away from the combat. Cumulonimbus. Yeah, that's what you're into. I'd be happy staying put, I think. Just treating families. You'd miss fucking up scars. I don't think so. I'd go crazy. Move. A different kind of community. Anybody who survived in the past 20 years up until now, yeah, I can imagine that most places might have communities, but they might be pretty far apart. Like you probably wouldn't find more than one in one city. Tomatoes? Can I have one for the road? Hey, Abby. Hey. Uh. What you reading? That's a lot of words. WLF. Hey, Pat. Hey. Rest in peace. Armory. Hey, Pat. Can I have my usual? You got it. Gracias. Which trucks are in? Take S24. I'm driving. <sighs> Sign us out. Fucking Thanks. May your survival be long. May your death be swift. Back in Jackson, we mostly used horses. This place is definitely more advanced. I could use a warm up. Oh, this thing's getting stuck. I want to try too. We are out. Shit. Okay, never mind. Ooh. Oh, these guns are different. What is that? Pipe bomb bounces on impact and explodes after a short delay. Otherwise, everything seems the same for now. Ah, we gotta get back to this again. Increase health. Virginia. Let's go. Down for some friendly competition? The loser cleans the apartment. Mm, high stakes. Best score on a full magazine. You're on, cabron. So no time limit? Which gun should I use? Where do I get the most points? The head? The middle? Requesting that gun next time. Yeah, the gun's why I won. Oh, that reminds me, there is a huge pile of dirty dishes. <laughs> You're cruel. Ooh, you can fold my laundry too. I don't want to shoot a little bit more. Sharpshooter. This gun seems nice. Don't have enough bullets though. We have really steady aim. Is 
because we're like an actual soldier and all. Mmm, our aim with this gun is not as steady. Yeah, my aim overall for this one. Look, I'm not hitting the middle at all. Maybe the gun is part of why I won. Huh. Well, you drew an infected thing over it. Ready to go. Let's get to the base. More ammo if you two need it. Thank you. That gun's really good, as far as I can tell. <laughs> 